Okay, everybody, finally got all five red border acacia this week. So I was able to go ahead and craft my god roll. God damn it, took longer than I would want to, but hey, finally got it. And low key, out of all the new raid weapons, this trace rifle is probably my favorite. Trace rifle's definitely been growing on me for a minute now, and this one just comes with so many good perks. Speaking of those banger good perks, let's look at the perk pool real quick. So if you're crafting this thing, at level one, it's gonna come with field prep frenzy, which is really nice. Sometimes leveling up weapons with their base level one perks, are just trash. But in the rest of column three, you got things like hip fire grip, not gonna use that, perpetual motion, keep away, envious assassin, reconstruction, and then rewind rounds, okay? Column four, you got things like frenzy, harmony, high impact reserves, target lock, the new raid perk, Paracausal Affinity, Vorpa Weapon, and then the Solar Weapon Classic of Incandescent. Let me tell you, this Trace Rifle has some pretty nice ability. It really feels like you're shooting a straight laser beam. The Trace Rifle that we decided to go ahead and craft has Corkscrew Rifling, Tactical Battery, Enhanced Reconstruction, and then Enhanced Paracausal Affinity. It also does have a backup mag on it, and with Reconstruction, dude, you're talking about a Trace Rifle that can get up to over two in the mag that is more than divinity which was the previous highest amount any trace rifle had in its magazine let that sink in and you can also pair that with quite the amount of damage perks from the fourth column warp will just be a smooth 15 percent to any yellow bar and bosses target lock's not a terrible idea but it is a little bit tricky but definitely really good against single targets but the new raid perk paracausal affinity is really good if you get a kill of energy types matching this weapon's alignment and what it means by alignment it's basically talking about if it's light or dark if it's anything light related so solar void arc it'll get boost and damage 20 percent for six seconds meaning you're not locked to having to go specifically into one element you got access to three you can run it on any subclass as long as it's a light related subclass because this is a solar trace rifle your grenades your melee if they are of the light family tree arc solar and void you're getting more damage and i find it pretty awesome so that's why we went with it of course you could go incandescent if you don't have the retrace path however me personally not really going to use my trace rifle to add clear like that but that's just me personally if you missed out on the hollow denial from last year then i would highly recommend going about getting this pattern trace rifles have really snuck up over the past year in usage and these days they are used a lot they're really good especially this one this one's probably the best bare minimum top two with the hollow denial let me know your preferred role for this weapon down in the comments below consider subscribing or not it is your decision thank you for watching we'll see y'all the next one you guys be safe out there